are a central feature of BRICS, which is also why we dedicated an entire chapter over at academy.bricksbuilder.io, just talking about templates. There are some articles and videos, and this doesn't, shouldn't take too long, but I highly recommend you read through all articles and videos, watch the videos, because it's very important that you get a really good understanding on how templates work to really make the most out of them and use them in the right way. All right, without any further ado, let's just start our introduction to templates. So first, what is a template in Bricks? A template can be anything from an individual section up to an entire page that you can use on specific areas of your website. And you can see here in our WordPress dashboard under Bricks templates, we already created 10 templates and they are responsible for different parts of your website. For example, you can see the second template here is the template type of photo. So this is actually our website photo. And by default, Bricks will show this type of template on your entire website. Same goes for your website header templates, for any arrow page templates, for your search result templates. And I think that's it. If you have an individual section you want to save, as we did here, this is just type section. In our case, we have this little um, hero section. If we just preview it, you can see it's just like this um, section here. And of course, it also shows us our website header and our website photo. Then we have an entire page content. In Let's have a look at this one, for example, because this is um, responsible for the layout of our for, of a single blog post. So we designed manually assigned a template condition of post type post. So all individual posts will use this um, template here. Then we also have another content um, test, and there's no condition set here. Um, so for content, template types, or individual sections, if you want to show them on a specific website area, you need to manually set a condition. But you can also disable this behavior. If you don't want to use the default behavior, you just want to uh, create and publish your templates, but you don't want to actually show them on your website, then make sure to disable default templates by going to your settings and then under templates, you just need to click um, check this box and then click on save. If we go back to our templates, you can see now that our website photo and our website header, they are no longer picked up by Bricks by default. So there's no condition set here. You have to manually set your template conditions, which we will have a look on in a later video, but this can be done when editing a template in the builder. But um, we are going to do this from here. And then we have two optional settings, so-called template bundles and template text. Um, they are just for you to uh, e more easily filter your um, template results when you in a template library. For example, we created this demo template um, bundle. We also have a lot of community templates and you can see those are basically a collection of different website um, templates that make up your entire website. So there's a home page, there's a website header, website photo, about pages, um, contact pages, blog post layouts, and we all bundle them under this umbrella um, yeah, that we just call um, template bundles. And then you can also tag your templates. This is just um, standard WordPress tagging. So in my case, I have a light and dark tag. You can add multiple tags to an individual template. Um, but yeah, I have light here for my header and for my single blog post template and this dark tag for my photo um, template. But they are optional. You don't need to actually set them um, if you don't want to. Next up, let's talk about importing and exporting templates. So for example, you created a template locally that you would now like to use on a client website or on a different Bricks website or just share it with a friend um, that is also using Bricks, then you want to first export your templates. And you can do this individually or in bulk. So if I just want to have one um, specific template exported, I can just hover over it 
and then just click on export and then it will generate and download this um, JSON file. To uh, export in bulk, all you need to do is just select your um, templates. In my case, I just gone, I don't only want to export the first three templates and then under bulk actions, you click on export and then you click apply. This will generate a zip file with all your templates in it that you can later import just by clicking on this import templates button, which will load up um, this section here. And then you can just select your templates from your computer, um, either your, this JSON file or the zip file we just talked about, or you can also, um, yeah, no, that's how you do it. And then you just click on import um, templates and then it's gonna be imported in here. All right. That was actually everything I wanted to talk about in this little introduction. In the next video, we are going to have a look at the template library, which is located in your Bricks Builder.